Lesson 6, Multi-Digit Quotients, Dividing by 2. Take a look at Part 1. First, students should list the first 10 multiples of 2, just like this. Then, they complete statements A and B. When dividing by 2, the remainders will always be less than 2. The only remainders I will have on this page are 0 or 1. Let's go over one example in part two that has zeros in the dividend and in the quotient. Here is 2,805 divided by two. Let's use our magic card to cover up. Slide over. Can we do two divided by two? Yes. So write it down. If two divided by two equals one, then one times two equals two. Subtract and slide. Bring down the 8. Can we do 8 divided by 2 evenly? Yes. So write it down. If 8 divided by 2 equals 4, then 4 times 2 equals 8. Subtract and slide. Bring down the 0. And can we divide 0 by 2 evenly? The answer is yes. So write it down. If 0 divided by 2 equals 0, then 0 times 2 equals 0. That's true. Subtract, slide over, bring down the 5. Can we do 5 divided by 2 evenly? No, so count backwards. 4 divided by 2, yes. Write it down. If 4 divided by 2 equals 2, then 2 times 2 equals 4. True. Slide over. That's the end of the problem. Our final answer is 1,402, remainder 1. Let's take a look at the word problem in part 2, in which students have to interpret the meaning of the quotient, including the remainder. This star provides a hint that this word problem is related to this division problem here. So let's go ahead and read it. A school has 825 pompons to give away at a football game, and it gave each spectator a set of two pompons until it ran out of complete sets. Let's answer the questions. How many spectators got a full set of two pompons? And we can see here that 412 spectators received a full set of two pompons. We have 412 spectators. Letter D. How many pompons were left over? And you can see here, we had a remainder of one, so one pompon was left over. One pompon. Pom -pom. 